What is up, everybody? This is Library Cards, and welcome back to our first episode of Cardboard Talks. Now, for those of you who have been around the channel for a long time, you know I had a show previously where I interviewed people through Skype and put them on the show and things like that, but this is going to be not just about sports in general and trades and things like that. This is going to be about why we are all here, why you guys follow me on Twitter, why you guys are subscribed to the channel. This is going to be about cards. Doesn't matter the sport, doesn't matter who it is on that card, we're going to be talking about it. And today, we are talking about the massive explosion of 2019 Prism Basketball. Now, I will say before I start quickly, one, if you aren't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I do a giveaway every 100 subscribers and we're getting there i made about 500 subscribers this year and i love each and every one of you very much for subscribing to the channel and i hope that all of you could give you know get in and win the giveaways but of course that can't happen only one person wins and when we hit that total i'll announce that new giveaway i will also say that our other series did end king of fan duel in the last two weeks not everybody entered the contest and that happened another time in the season so that one kind of ended on a uh, sour note, unfortunately, and I can't blame people because part of it was FanDuel, part of it was people just not being able to or forgetting. So that one kind of ended. There's not really a clear winner, but last week I will say I racked up 190 points in my lineup, which I thought was really, really good, and I, of course, did not enter it into anything else. Now, with all that being said and all that wrapped up and we're two minutes in roughly already, Let's talk about why you're all here. So 2019 Prism Basketball is a retail and hobby product that if you can find it, you can find it at a decent price for retail. And if you could, when it first came out, you could find it at a good price for a hobby. Since then, it's exploded. It's only one of the first products to come out for basketball this season. You've got Origins, you had Draft Picks, which not a lot of people are interested in NBA players being shown in their college unis. Not a lot of people want to see that, me included, especially when Score first came out. So this stuff is crazy. I know since then another product has came out. I think it was Origins has come out and it's kind of lowered the market on some of this. But right now, these are hard to find. Those of you who don't know, I live in Springfield, Missouri. I have checked one of our Walmarts. I've checked one in Nixon, Missouri multiple times, and that's about as far as I've gone on searching. Now, am I a basketball guy? Well, again, those of you who have been subbed to the channel for a while know that. In fact, I do open some basketball packs and random pack openings, and sometimes I don't know how to announce people's names. Well, I don't watch a lot of basketball, but I keep up to date with the teams who do well and the players who are doing quite well, so I like to think I know a little. Now, right now, you guys can go to Walmart, Target, wherever you buy your retail, and you can buy a hanger box of 2018 Prism Basketball for $18. And on eBay, those go for $40. You can buy a blaster for $20. And right now on eBay, those go for $30. You guys are kind of following my trend here. A mega box is around $50. And on eBay, they sell for $140. And even a hobby box will cost you around $400. Now, we're going to be talking about mainly today why this cost is so high why is the demand there, and how long we think this will continue. I will say uh, thank you to all of those who did, in fact, comment on a tweet I sent out earlier today. If you guys aren't following me, it's the same name as the YouTube channel. And I do appreciate all of you who commented and helped me find out the prices for those items. It was easy to look the items up on eBay to see how much they were going for. And I had a lot of people basically tell me uh, how much they were in person because some people had gotten lucky. So um, the following people really did help out a lot. Uh, Be Bleed Cub Blue 311, I appreciate you very much. Uh, we also have Bolts Fan 928, and then uh, Lightning Fan 3, and Bastion 1995. And I will mention one more later who really did help out a lot um, with his experience in getting the product, but that's enough of that. So again, why is this selling to so high? So the first thing I think is the rarity of the product. As I said, I've searched a few places and I've seen plenty and plenty and plenty of people post to Twitter 
empty boxes on their shelves, no silos, no hangers, no blasters, no mega boxes at their local retail places. Now, I've also seen the opposite where I've seen all of those boxes and things get put into one cart. Now, I don't have an opinion for that because right now, if you can make money off of that and put it towards bills or something, go for it. If you want to open it just for the enjoyment of the hobby, go for it. It's whoever comes first, it's first come, first serve. And I highly doubt you can call your local Target, Walmart, again, whoever carries your retail, and say to them, hey, can you hold this for me? Or ask them, hey, when is this product being put out? That's kind of a, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but it's something that I don't think a lot of retailers will know or will tell you. A company actually will come in and stock those, and they're not really in charge of that a lot of the time. My local uh, Target has moved their cards to the back near the electronics, while my Walmarts uh, that I've gone to have checkout lanes where the cards are, and I usually have to move around people to see if they have any. It's a little embarrassing sometimes, and usually those lanes are open, and people are just like, why are you crouching down near my knees to look at sports cards, you 24-year-old weirdo. But they don't know. They don't know what they're missing out on, guys, that's for sure. So I will say the resale cost is high because of, of course, the rarity. Now, we also know that a product such as this has great variations and different color variations. You can get cards that are out of $299, $199, $149, $125, 88, 75, 50, 49, 42, 35, 25, 20, 10, 5, and 1, and also out of 8. Now, you can also get unnumbered silvers, red, white, and blues, greens, hypers, and white sparkles. All these cards and all these variations look phenomenal, and if you can get just the right player numbered low enough, or even a good rookie right now like Zion, for example, uh, just numbered in general, he'll go for quite a bit. So that is another reason that I've come up for that higher buying resale price. Uh, another one lastly, one of the last ones is the good rookie class. You have Morant, Zion, Pascal, Hunter, and more making their way into the NBA. Now as many of us know, Zion has not played a single second in the NBA and he's actually learning as of now thanks to Bortha Sire on Twitter for telling me this, he's learning to rewalk and reuse his legs since his surgery. The Pelicans have made a huge risk drafting this guy, and of course I, work, I hope it works out for him just to further his dream and play in the NBA. Now I will say lastly that this product is huge because of Zion himself. Right now his rookies go for 45, and his silver variation or his prism variation goes for around 400 his pink goes for 125 his red white and blue for 75 and any other variation i honestly couldn't find at one point his orange striped card was going for about 200 and his autos go anywhere from 500 to 3500 is what i found again i didn't look too hard for the extremely rare autos i just kind of went to ebay made a simple search so guys, what happens if you come across this product in your store and you've got the choice between the mega boxes, the blaster boxes, the CLOs, the hangers, whatever you want? Well, a good person over on Twitter who I'm now following and has chosen to follow me back, uh, who is at DeepGRCS, has gotten lucky and found quite a few of the uh, Prism Basketball. Again, this is not draft. Do not get the draft. That is not what is in demand. I thought I found it at one point and was told it was the wrong thing. I got very lucky. Somebody told me that I was not getting the right thing and I saved a lot of time. So, according to someone who actually found them, the best options is your silos. And I may be pronouncing that wrong and I apologize if I am because that's probably annoying the heck out of you guys. But basically, your best option is those silos. Now, you can get two of those for the price of a hanger. And I believe the silos are $5. Nope, they're 10 Hangers are 18 So, this will get you two guaranteed silver prisms, three red, white, and blues, and two greens. While the hangers will have variations 
and orange ice. Celos have better odds for pulling that rookie prism. Also, more variations, and in the end, I believe, I didn't do the math, you could end up getting more cards. So in the end, if you guys come across this, get those Celos, and if you come across it, and you're trying to, you know, not bust it for the cards, but bust it for a profit, which is, you know, sometimes what the hobby is about, then you probably want to go for the Celos, the Megas, and the hanger boxes. Blasters aren't really in demand. That is all I really have for you guys this week. I did want to talk about why I quit breaking week one, but I found that this was more important because it is in the here and in the now, and I'm still seeing it on Twitter, and I've seen it for twi on Twitter for weeks. I also thought about talking about this week the Series 2 of 2019 baseball and 2018. People going crazy over those Acuna bat down parallels that are going for hundreds or at least were going on hundreds for uh, eBay. If you guys have any other topics you guys think are very relevant to right now or anything that I should just add to my list to talk about because I have an ever-expanding list, please do let me know. And I will close this very first episode of Cardboard Talks with a poll that I have in fact put up on Twitter. Again, that name is I Break Cards. And I did have several people comment and tell me that they had gotten things. No Zion autographs or anything like that. A couple of, you know, rookies of the big guys, Zion, RJ, Ja, etc. Uh, somebody said that their brother did, in fact, pull the orange ice out of retail. Now, I asked you guys, have you been able to find any Prism basketball? If you ripped any, what cards did you pull? So, again, that's what I told you. I've had 15 votes. And a little more than a third, so I'm going to say like seven or eight people said yes and ripped it. And then about the same amount, but a little less, I'll say around five, maybe four, said no. Which makes me in the same boat as you guys. And then one person said yes and resold it. So I would have liked to talk to that person. I don't know, of course, who they are. But there you go, guys. If you ever see a Twitter poll up on the channel, or up on my Twitter, I mean then you guys will be able to tell what I'm going to talk about next. Feel free to comment. Several people in this episode did get a shout out for their help, as I do appreciate it very much. Watch for this episode to come out right now every Friday, and then in the future that will change due to my class schedule. But I appreciate all of you guys who commented on my Twitter, all of you guys who are listening for the first time. I appreciate you very much. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me if you've gotten any prism or if you've gotten lucky from your prism if you've resold it congrats you know you do you and let me know what you guys would like to hear me chat about or talk about in the future i'm trying to set more things up and i'm really looking forward to to it guys as for me that is all enjoy the rest of your week thank you guys so much for listening i almost said watching like subscribe all that stuff you know what to do you awesome people and i will talk to you all later